Hey guys, this is John with Walkthrough Code. So I am recording a video today on how to, basically how to deploy a Node.js app with server, uh, server with uh, Express and um, Connects. Um, so I have a functioning app. It starts up and everything. I have all my migrations and seeds and crap like that. Um, and I created this with uh, dbconfig and I'll link that in the description below. Um, so in my migrations I have the to-dos table, I have the seeds here, and this is just to you know get everything, just some data in the database. Um, and then in my routes I have my index and my to-do, so I'm just gonna get some, I'm just gonna have a route that just go get stuff. Um, and then I have just an index page that says dbconfig is working. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go into connects file and here I have the address um, and I have my database called to do's video. Um, what I'm going to do is I don't have any major production uh, data that I want to put in here so I'm actually just going to remove this production here so it doesn't have to go look for a seeds forward slash production uh, folder. Um, we'll just keep the seeds that we have because when Heroku deploys this, it gives it the environment variable of production. Um, so we have to we have to make sure that all of our paths are correct. So we had db migrations, which is good, and then db seeds, which is db and then seeds. Um, okay, so that fixes that issue. The other thing um, that we need to do is we need to create a file called proc file, which is not going to be there. So we'll move it proc. And we can actually see that right off the bat, we actually already have like this little Heroku symbol here, so it knows it's with that. So what we have to do is the pro basically the process or the proc file is basically what do I do when the uh, when the server starts up and it starts installing everything. Um, so we need to give it commands to do before it starts its own process because we need to. Uh, connect the database and make sure it's migrated and seeded and and everything else runs. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to say web. Then we're going to have um, connects. So we know we're going to deploy this multiple times, so we're going to have like a, a rollback and a uh, of the migrations and then just and migrate latest again. So the first thing we're going to do is connects migrate uh, rollback. After that, we're going to run connects migrate latest. Make that a little bigger for you guys. Then we're going to run uh, connects seed run. Then lastly, for this one, we need to run whatever whatever command we use to start the server. Um, be careful. Nodemon does not work here, so we have to run node and whatever. If you generate it with the express generator, you need to do uh, connects, or sorry, not connects, so you're going to do node and then uh, dot slash bin forward slash www, but I don't have a dot bin nor do I have a www folder, so I run mine with server.js. So I'm going to say node server.js. Um, so that gives uh, like we said before, that gives Heroku instructions on what to do after it in, uh, installing, but it hasn't started up yet. Or it hasn't deployed this, or how to explain this, it, before it basically launches the server. Um, okay, so that's pretty much that. If we need to come back and fix anything, we definitely will. But as, as of right now, we should be good here. Um, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Heroku. If you haven't signed up for Heroku, go ahead and go to heroku.com and sign up for an account, and it'll take you to this dashboard where you'll be able to create apps. We're going to say new, create new app, and I don't feel particularly uh, creative today, so I'm going to let it create it for me. So I'm just going to create the create app. And so now we have Stark Citadel 74186. Um, this is now our... Um, this is now our subdomain here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to make sure that we have everything and deploy it correctly. Um, but before we do that, actually, we're going to go into resources and we need to add on the um, 
Postgres database. And if we type in Postgres, oh look, Heroku gives us one that we can use. Just make sure you click that and then provision it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, so we, so we have this now, and we know that because if we go to settings, we, in reveal config variables, we have this thing called database URL. Um, and we can relate that because in our DB, and actually in our connects file, we're gonna have process.env.database URL, which is that URL. Um, so that's a nice little thing. Um, now we're going to go back to deploy and we're going to say uh, we're going to follow these instructions. I've already installed the Heroku CLI. If you haven't, go ahead and install that. Then you have to log in through Heroku. Um, so go ahead and get that done. And then what we're going to do now is we're basically just going to create this um, with the command line. So I'm just going to open the... Oops. I'm going to open this here and I'm going to say git init, git add, git commit, initial commit. And then now we need to put in this little Heroku thing. So Heroku git remote. So we're basically saying go add my, um, go add this uh, remote. Okay, so now that's all set. So now, all we have to do now, so we've git add git commit already, so all we need to do now is say git push Heroku master. So let's go ahead and do that. So what it's going to do is it's going to take in a second and it's going to build all of this stuff. Um, it's installing binaries and resolving node, um, installing node, npm, that type of thing. Um, one thing that we can do to kind of trail along with this is go back to setting, actually, you know what, we can go to more and then view logs. And if we look at what's going on here, it's going to start up here. It's going to keep building. This will start up eventually. There we go. So now it says we've deployed it, we've started the process. Um, I think I might have typed in something incorrectly. Let's see here. Oh, I put a space there. All right, so let's go back. Uh, let's go back to proc file and then remove that space. And let's get, oops, let's get add, get commit, fixed proc file, get push Heroku master. And so it's going to run this whole process again, and we can see that happen uh, when it says build started by user. Um, so that's going to take a second to go ahead and load again. Uh, go ahead and get installing and stuff. Um, this is going to take a second. So let's keep clicking back and forth and figuring out anything else that we can do to kill some time while this happens. Here we go. Moving on. Um, Okay, cool. So the build succeeded, um, and it's compressing, launching, and stuff. Okay, so now we can watch this. So the build succeeded. Let's see if we, um, let's see. So we're starting the process. Migrations worked. Seed worked. And state changed from starting to up. Cool, so now we should be able to go up, or um, open it. So if we click open app, oh look, it's working, awesome. And we can test the API because we have that to-dos endpoint. So if I look at routes, to-dos routes, and then so just for argument's sake, I have um, my to-dos going off of forward slash to-dos. Uh, and if I look here and I have my router.git forward slash give me all from to-dos. So theoretically speaking, if I say forward slash to-dos, it should give me some to-dos. So now our server is up and running. It's ready to go. This is publicly available. Um, I'm probably going to pull it down after this just for safety, but outside of that, um, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any uh, you know, suggestions or anything like that, um, 
totally let me know in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and all that other stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks so much. Have a great day.